Hi there, this is Damien Gennardi from the Office of Special Projects, and today I'm here with John Fowler, head of the voice faculty at Winthrop University, and John is also directing Mozart's Magic Flute, which opens tomorrow night uh, here at Winthrop in Johnson Hall. And uh, the dates on that are March 5th and 6th at 7.30 and March 7th at 3 p.m. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, I wanted to get a little bit of information about what's going to happen with the production from John. Uh, John, will you tell us a little bit about The Magic Flute for those people who don't know about that opera? When it was first done, it's uh, sort of a fantasy opera that uh, Mozart uh, uh, completed in 1791. It was the last opera that he wrote um, shortly before his death, uh, about three months before he died. And um, it's, it's all about the, the Masons. Uh, but but it, with Winthrop Opera Theater, what we're doing, we're updating it to the year 2010. And we're taking all of the politically incorrect things out of it and uh, um, making it a, a very fun and loving piece where everybody is a happy ending and everybody gets together. So what's, what's, what are the main contrasts and what maybe if somebody have seen, has seen this opera before, what can they expect to see from this production? It's about the development of... Uh, the characters, the, the three spirits, we're, we're making sure that the three spirits have a, 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 a ways to go. There's an education about that they learn, uh, where they go from their freshman year to their senior year. They're graduating at the end of the opera. Sure. Uh, the, uh, um, I'm having the Queen of the Night and Zoroastro reunite. They never do that in any other production and I'm also one of the th other things that I'm doing that's never been done before I don't believe is we're actually having a person be the magic flute to me it's an it's a it's about the whole total package not just somebody standing up and holding a flute and it plays by itself right 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 so and you're, you're just saying that everybody is sort of uh, developing an individual story in a different way than maybe we've seen before. Yeah, I think that that's the important thing is that each character has their own development. They have a the start of the opera, there's a middle section, there's an ending. And you see how how each person finds his own soulmate. I, I think that that's one of the messages behind the Magic Flute. It's one of those underlying uh, uh, currents that uh, is always flowing there. And we just, we need to show that and that's what we're trying to do here. Awesome.